My name is Samir Mohammed. My parents are from West Africa, Ghana. How many siblings do you have? Uh, it's 12 of us. No, I could be wrong. Uh, I'm counting my stepbrothers and sisters. So stepbrothers and sisters, it's 13 of us total. What made you become a boxer? Well, uh, I was always interested in boxing when I was younger. Uh, my Uncle Bennett tried to start us off uh, boxing when I came to the States with me and my brother Nazi. But uh, he wound up leaving and going back to Ghana. So I stopped boxing and picked up other sports. From then, when I moved to Kentucky after my father uh, passed away, uh, well, got murdered rather, uh, after he uh, got murdered, here in the city of Chicago. Uh, we moved to Kentucky with my other brother because he was playing basketball at the University of Kentucky. So st uh, then that's what I met. My, my older brother introduced me to a gentleman named Coach uh, Reed, Jura Reed. And from there, uh, I picked up back boxing and never looked back. Has boxing helped you improve your personal self? Boxing definitely helped me improve my, my emotions because after my father got uh, murdered, my emotions was everywhere. You know, as far as, you know, my temperament, uh, I had very little patience for people, just anybody. You know, if they say something that I didn't like, that I assumed that they was trying to offend me, uh, usually, you know, it ends up in an altercation. So boxing, came, when boxing came back into my life, it actually helped me out tremendously. Not just boxing, the coach. It's all about the having the right coach. By me having the right coach, she definitely taught me how to be more patient, how to be balanced, how to just put everything in perspective, organize, and that's what boxing do. Boxing have you, because it's kind of hard to explain, but boxing have, if you really want to do boxing, boxing have you put everything in order because boxing wait for no one. Does boxing help develop better self-esteem? Boxing do help develop, uh, develop better self-esteem. Because if you have low self-esteem, boxing also help you bring that out. You know, where it teaches you how to be patient, where it teaches you how to just basically take everything and analyze it and make it and put a purpose behind it. So when you down on something, boxing help bring that forefront where you could think about it where because now you understand that I'm doing a stream sport I don't have moments in time to feel down about something because now it's in it's, it's right there in front of my face that's what boxing help you do it help you confront whatever it is that you feeling down and low about and nine times out of ten it make you it make you think through it how long have you been an instructor? Oh, I mean, well, if we go back, even when I was younger and through high school, I was always training my friends. We was always working out together. Uh, instructor, even when I started boxing, my coach uh, had me always instructing the other kids or teaching classes for them. Uh, just different type of things because he was like, you just don't just want to be a boxer. You want to do the whole totality of boxing, learning how to eat right, learning when you're supposed to sleep, learning how to train as well as you and well as other people that's around you. Because, you know, you're going to be in a gym full of people that's going to come to come to you asking you questions so you want to learn how to give the, the the proper information as well so my coach started teaching me how to how to train different people how to hold pads uh uh teach them how to shadow box teach them you know the the, the basics of boxing 
how many young boxers have you trained? Whew. I mean, uh, I trained a lot of kids starting off, you know, uh, uh, in Kentucky as well as, as I was boxing. And when I moved to Florida for, uh, to go try to get my contract, uh, my contract in uh, St. Pete with Dan Birmingham, uh, once that didn't go well, I was also training kids throughout, you know, I used to take kids to his gym. So I trained maybe, uh, in Florida, I'd say maybe 10 to 15 kids, but you know, uh, that was in and out, you know, kids were boxing. They, one minute they gone ho about it. Then the next minute they, uh, they don't want to do it. One minute they want to do it. So I trained about 10 to 15 kids or maybe even more. How many wins? Uh, with the kids uh, that I was training, they actually didn't turn amateur. We was just always, you know, I was taking them to go spar at South St. Pete and different mixed martial arts. For some reason, whenever it's time for the kids to turn amateur USA boxing, then that's when they start finding more excuses, you know, because I think, <laughs> I think because of the unknowing but but getting in there sparring sometimes some kids don't mind but far as the kids i train here in chicago uh through the park district through the park district boxing uh one of my kids got like 15 and like three losses one of my other kids got like uh 10 and like maybe four losses uh my other kid early he got like uh what 15 like maybe five uh who else it's just so many of them but park district don't keep record so it's basically it's like an exhibition but they don't keep record on paper but you're supposed to like basically just know how many fights they had what is the best advice you would give your younger self stay focused and what you interested in. Don't let anybody deter you from what you are interested in. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, besides the many different jobs that I that I do and being a husband and, and a father, hopefully in 10 years I am a better father, a better husband, and Hopefully in 10 years, you know, uh, with the boxing, training the kids, that I have some kids that, that is actually interested in turning pro. Because right now I have, uh, in Chicago, I have a few kids that are interested in doing USA Boxing. So that's what I'm looking forward to, uh, taking these kids to USA Boxing, start traveling the United States, and hopefully they make the USA uh, Boxing team where they could get a chance to go outside the United States and see the world. Why is good coaching so important? Good coaching is very important. Once, once again, I'm going to say it's very important because you could have some coaches to have the knowledge, to have everything that it takes, but they don't have the patience to actually develop the kid from ground from from the ground up. So sometimes you just have a, a extremely talented kid, and you teach him the basic five punches, and he just take that and he makes something of it, and then he make that coach seem good. But you want to learn the ins and outs of boxing. Is you know how many jabs it is, the different type of ways you could throw your jab. You know how you supposed to step left, step right. How you supposed to rock back or slip left, slip right. You know how you gotta study is he a counter puncher or or is he a a a, 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 a brawler or is he a boxer? You gotta be able to study all of that. What type of fight it is in front of you so you can know how to attack or how to approach him you know, for what he's trying to do to you. So good good coaching is definitely very important. Do you consider yourself a mentor or a father figure? Sometimes you are both. Sometimes you are a mentor. Sometimes you are, uh, they look at you as a father figure. 
sometimes they just look at you as a friend because the kids are able to conversate with you let you know what's going on in their life they might not tell nobody else uh the kind of how they feeling what's going on throughout their day like one of my kids just uh right now i'm on paternity leave from uh well where i I work at one of my kids just reached out to me you know i have a relationship with all of them uh reached out to me and told me you know he just got his uh report card and he got straight a's you know and i told him i'm proud of him i told him keep up the good work it's gonna pay off in the long run uh of course he's trying to go to kenwood because i told him good uh kenwood is a good high school to go to so uh uh he He's trying his best to get into Kenwood. I told him if not Kenwood, try Morgan. Nah, I told him if not Kenwood, try Whitney Young. You know, just different type of school that got good educational background. Uh, so I have a good relationship with a lot of my kids, even the former kids that uh, I trained in the past. Some of them still reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram, stuff like that, ask me how am I doing, you know, ask me questions about boxing because I still do that to my coach now. 